Hello everyone, it's a properties of inverse trig functions lesson 2 from trig functions chapter. Okay, so when we evaluate an inverse trig function, we need to stay within the range for that function. So remember that, the range. Okay, remember inverse sine was from uh, minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 inclusive and the cos was the same. No, cos was the same. Cos uh, inverse cos was from um, zero to pi, and ten was uh, similar, but pi minus pi over two and pi over two was not. They were not included. Okay, so let's have a look at the question one. Evaluate. So we want the answer. Okay, one or something value. Uh, each expression. So inverse ten minus one. Um, no, what did I say minus 1 for? <laughs> inverse 10, 1. We don't know. So we have to find it. Okay. So let y equals inverse 10, 1 to start with. And then we are moving this to the other side. It will be 10, y equals 1. Okay. I'm going to stop there and think about the range of 10 it's minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. That means, guys, now this is the unit circle of that, so it'll be 0 pi over 2 minus pi over 2. That was a pi here. Okay, now it's going to go from 0 to pi over 2 or pi 0 to minus pi over 2. So it's going to be on the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant. Okay, so the range for the inverse 10 is only for from uh, first, first quadrant and fourth quadrant. Okay, now, <clears throat> so first quadrant was the theta, fourth quadrant is minus theta. We do not use um, 360 take web theta here because the range doesn't allow that. So it's only going to be positive acute angle or negative acute angle. That's it. Now, which quadrant will have positive 10? Obviously, it's a first quadrant. Okay. First quadrant will give us positive. Okay. So my answer to this, pi over 4. Okay. So that's like exact value. All right, next one. Inverse sine negative half. Okay, negative half. So let y equals inverse sine negative half. So if I move the negative inverse sine into the other side, I will get sine y equals minus half. So my sine value is negative. Now, what's my range? My range is minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. That's inclusive. And it's the same as 10 in the sense of quadrants. So it's going to be first quadrant and fourth quadrant. Um, but this time it's a negative value. So it's going to be first quadrant okay so fourth quadrant all right so fourth quadrant is just a negative acute angle wasn't it so sine y is negative half which one which angles gives a negative well, i mean just half to start with it'll be 30 degrees which is pi over six but it's a negative so it's going to be negative pi over six so it'll be inverse sine minus half is negative pi over 6. Okay, that's not wasn't too bad. Next one, C. Okay, so this one, R cos will be, I'm going to rewrite this because I like it this way. All right, so let, I'm going to, I'm going to work on this inside first. So let y equals 
So this will be plus y equals minus 1. All right. So what was my, um, what was my range for in, um, inverse cos? It was 0 and pi, wasn't it? And that means it's only going to be first and second quadrant. And I am not going to worry about third and fourth quadrant. Okay. So, but which quadrant will give me cos equals negative value? It would be second quadrant. Okay. Because the first quadrant, everything is positive. So, but then second quadrant have a formula like this, isn't it? And in this case, it would be pi minus y. So, which angle will be cause something is neg uh, 1? Cause something is 1. It would be um, pi, wouldn't it? So, if I see that, negative 1, yeah. So, negative 1 because y is negative 1 will be pi, okay? So it would be pi. So therefore, sign here, that's pi. So I'm going to put pi there, okay? And sine pi is 0. So the whole thing will be 0, okay? So let's, let's summarize this. So we know that the, these inverse cos uh, cosine negative 1 is in the second, ha uh, second quadrant so that will be and then uh, cos y is a negative 1 which is pi and so I'm going to replace that with that to pi and the whole thing will be sine pi equals 0 next one uh, I'm going to go same it's a cos it would be second and third so let y equals cos minus 1 2 which will be cos y equals negative again it's a negative so it's a second and also it would be pi minus y because it's second quadrant so what's happening now will be uh, y will be pi over 4 wouldn't it so pi minus y will be pi over 4 because which um, angle will have cos something equals 1 over root 2? Just pi over 2. Now this is not about the angle. It's about just the value of the trig ratio. It's this one, it's indicating which quadrant it's going to be. So we're not going to look at the negative um, angle here we can't because it doesn't allow us in the range because the range will be 0 and pi okay there's no negative value in there um so therefore it'll be 3 pi over 4 therefore my answer to inverse cos negative 1 over root 2 is 3 pi over 4 now hopefully you'll watch this more couple of times and we'll get the idea of using the range for the inverse function okay inverse trig function well done